Kia ora everyone, welcome along to Morg Nuts. Today I'm going to be doing a seafood chowder review. In fact, it's an east side seafood chowder review, as suggested by Sean K8689, I believe. Thanks so much for your comment, bro. Great idea. I've never really even considered doing a seafood chowder kind of review. So, as suggested, we're going to try out Gav's Endeavour on Effingham Street, and then we're going to head to the Honey Cafe in kind of Brighton Mall, New Brighton Mall. So first up, we're gonna to go to Gaz Endeavour, which I'm outside right now, and see how they do their seafood chowder. <laughs> right -o. So this is the full menu at Gav's Endeavour. I've got ship shaped burgers, they're all 20 bucks. There's like cheeseburgers, beef burger, a fish burger, what's that, a chicken burger, and a veggie burger, which is great. There's also something called Captain's Miscellany, 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 for 20 bucks. All pretty good um, value, there's fish and chips, roast pork, chicken schnitty, yeah, a beef schnitzel, and then on the other side, on continued, we've got nachos, veggie nachos, and then this Mariner's Bounty Blend. That's the seafood chowder, creamy seafood chowder served with cheesy bread. And then there's bagels, and some little, um, a kid's menu down the bottom. So yeah, the bagel's like 15 bucks. Okay, well the Mariner's Bounty Blend has arrived, aka the seafood chowder, and it smells incredible. Oh, it smells very seafoody, which is great. That is a big bowl too, and you get these lovely little cut up cheese toasties. Check that out. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna try a wee bit of that actually. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. I just know this is gonna go so well together. Right, we'll taste the. Um, Oh man, there are loads of bits of seafood in there. Look at this whole muscle. Look at that, a whole muscle in there. That is nuts. Let me get you that right now. Mm. That's freaking delicious. It's really creamy, it's really rich too, and it's piping hot, which is very important, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm, cheese is nice and gooey and melty. So chunky. Oh my goodness, mussels are plenty. And that sauce is so thick and creamy, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I thought I'd learn a little bit about um, what goes into making a great seafood chowder, and one of the things is the velute sauce, or velute sauce, which is one of the five mother sauces in French cuisine, and it's made from roux and a light kind of stock, and it's the base of this kind of thing, like a seafood chowder. You've got to get that right so that everything else is brought together and sits nicely. You know, all the seafood sits nicely on that sauce. Mmm. Bit of cracked pepper on top is great as well. <laughs> this is mussels. It's chock with mussels. Oh, I love it. Man. And some wee shrimps. Oh, there's a little bit of scallop as well. Mmm. Mmm. And a prawn or shrimp. Make sure you dip your, your cheesy toasties in there before they get cold. This is an incredible bowl of seafood chowder. It's rich and creamy, it's thick. There's a sort of slight scent of seafood, which is beautiful. Tons and tons of chunks of succulent seafood in there. Of course, you've got the mussels, you've got little bits of shrimp, some scallop in there as well, and some white fish that are delicately scattered throughout there as well. Absolutely superb. It's just the perfect balance of savory, slightly briny, a little sweetness in there, wee chunks of potato as well. Every mouthful of this deliciously warm seafood chowder is like a, just a hug, a comforting hug. I was gonna say mouth hug, but a mouth hug is something <laughs> completely different. You get a little fresh kind of pop from the corn when you mush down on that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. If you're swinging past Gav's Endeavour, pop in, it's such a great pub. It's the quintessential Kiwi kind of pub. I've got a gaming room, I've got a pool table, darts. The staff are really friendly and helpful. And you know, come down here and meet the locals, man, because they're hanging out down here and they're really friendly. Just sit down, strike up a convo, you know, friends for life, I reckon. And of course, I've got a great menu with reasonably priced items on there as well. Remember, this was only 20 bucks. 
and it will fill you up. So there we go, that's Gav in Devon's Seafood Chowder or Mariner's Bounty Blend. I think that's great, yeah, that's correct. Absolutely delicious, well worth it. So comforting, so filling, and so, so delicious. You need to try this. Anyway, that's me done. I'm gonna head down the road further down into New Brighton and check out Honey Cafe Seafood Chowder and see how they do theirs. out the back of the uh, Brighton Mall and I'm gonna walk through bloody old Surfside Mall. There's a few empty spaces in there now but there's still a few shops going strong. Got a op shop over here. Nice. Got some Indian takeaway here. It's that place, might have to check that out. And then we've got New Brighton Cycles. Simpatico here. Here. Well, I won't be going there because I don't have any here, but uh, then we've got a luxury nails and spa over there. Redo, renew New Brighton just here. We've got some knickknacks and secondhand stuff, and then we've got bloody florist over here. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then we come out here to New Brighton Mall. And Honey Cafe is right there. And as we come through the arcade, I can see Honey and there's this amazing band playing outside. Our seafood chowder here and thank you to Sophie I came in and the kitchen had actually shut but um, but she heated this up for me so we've, we've got something to try so and what a great little atmosphere with the pirate band out there Sophie was saying that they play every Wednesday and Friday at lunchtime or most Wednesdays and Fridays at lunchtime Wednesdays is kind of like the bigger band like what we just saw out there and then Friday lunchtime is a, a smaller sort of makeup I think of maybe just three or four musicians amazing stuff down here at New Brighton this is great vibe it's got all the vibes all right let's try this thing so first we'll do the sniff test beautiful it smells rich it smells very savory with a little hint of sort of briny seafood scent so was nice enough to actually just serve me up a smaller portion of seafood chowder because I'd kind of overindulged at Gav's endeavor didn't really have a huge appetite anymore and she didn't want to waste any which is fair enough too so um, I got a smaller portion but the normal size portion is much bigger of course and it's $22.80 and again it's just got like they've packed it full of so much seafood I'm gonna try a little mouthful here for it's piping hot as well, which is great. Mm hmm. Mm. That is hot. Mm. Yeah. I got a little shrimp in that one and a piece of corn. I love getting corn. Man, I love corn. I love corn so much. This seafood chowder is just a, a touch lighter than down at Gav's Endeavour. A little, a little thinner on the old velouté sauce, which is just glorious. It's, it's. Um, I don't like doing comparison videos. I'm not comparing the two. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> Having said that, I'm doing exactly that, comparing it. Gaz Endeavours, a little thicker, this is a little thinner. Both just spectacular. Oh man. That is very warm. Mm. Still got all that lovely, um, rich brininess and a nice piece of sourdough with some butter on it to sop it up as well. Mm. Oh man, that's delicious. It's hearty. It's warming and so delicious. And it's this kind of thing that you, you're in New Brighton, you're right by the sea. It makes sense to have a seafood chowder. Let's try mussel. Oh man, that's a big ass mussel. Can you see that? Look at the size of that thing. Delicious and very hot. I'm gonna shove it all in though. Yeah, that is golden. <laughs> oh, lovely bit of fish there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Seasoned perfectly as well. This is an absolutely stellar bowl of seafood chowder. It's such a lovely little cafe. I'm kind of coming at the tail end of lunch, so the kitchen's shut, as I said, but they've sold out of a lot of things, but that's 
a great sign of a great cafe. I like it how light it is in here. Big yellow wall, yellow is my favorite color, so that immediately appeals to me. It's quite large, it's open, there's lots of seating. Um, the menu's really extensive as well, and of course, as I've said before, what sticks with me is the, the experience, the feeling I get of an, when I'm in a place. And Sophie is just so lovely, helping me out, just smashing that um, seafood chowder through, even though it's kind of, the kitchen's closed, but um, there was a lady chatting to me before, the pirate band out the, out the front were actually just sort of finishing when I got here, and they played one more song for me, so I really appreciate that. It just leaves you with a good feeling. The people of New Brighton just kick ass. This is a great place. If you're coming down Brighton Mall, um, make sure you come and say hello to Sophie, get a coffee, get a, get a muffin scone, whatever is in the cabinet, have some lunch, and, um, and, support, uh, and support her and her business. You can't go wrong with sitting outside as well. You might even see someone's random dog and get to pat them too, which is always lovely. Well, there we go. What an absolute gem of a cafe right here in Brighton Mall. That seafood chowder was, it was just incredible. It was like, it's just some of the, I mean, not, not that I've eaten a lot of seafood chowder, but that, it's just, that was so good. It's so comforting, it's so warm. I know I've said it so many times, I can't really think of any other way to describe it. It's rich and delicious. Loads of seafood in, in that seafood chowder and the one at Gav's Endeavour. So Gav's Endeavour, and Honey Cafe here in um, Brighton Mall, well worth checking out. The pier's just in front of me here, so it's a short walk just up the mall here. You'll just get the, just get, well you get treated well, you eat well, there's music, loads of great people. Brilliant, brilliant.